Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and today we have pseudoscientist number 11, except it's actually number 12 because I got 11 and 12 mixed up. Jake should have been 11 and this guy should have been 12, but eh, nobody actually realises that there's an order to these things, and even though I'm saying it right now, I'll just get someone to wipe your mind so that you don't remember that you've watched this video, and then you watch it again, and then you watch it again, again, again. I'm gonna stop that now. Anyway, today's pseudoscientist is Roger without a feather otherwise known as Mudman Research. And this time he has discovered even more rocks, which he clearly thinks are the remains of Godzilla's brother. He's clearly trying to find the entire Godzilla family like it's Pokemon or something. Anyway, what have you got for us today? Okay, now we're here in these layers. And I'm not sure, that really thick one comes across, I think it's that right there and this one. It's thinner here, not four feet thick like it is over there. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Rocks do have different sizes and different thicknesses because not every rock is the exact same. Anyway, these are all layers of tissue. Bless you. All this. This is biological. These are layers of tissue. I don't know about that. They look very much like rocks to me. You are aware of what rocks are, right? You've been told about them, right? These are not sedimentary deposits over millions of years and hundreds of floods. So just because you can't imagine something happening over millions of years, that doesn't mean that it hasn't happened. This is what we call personal incredulity. For one thing, actually go completely against the word of God, he says one flood. One great flood that covered the earth. Wait, does he think that there has only ever been one flood and all these floods that happen due to natural disaster just are fake or something? Because the alternative to that is he thinks that people like geologists are saying that there have been heaps of world floods and that is why we have sedimentary deposits. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you don't actually need floods for sedimentary deposits. You know, sedimentation can be caused by things such as water obviously but it can also be caused by wind. I'd say that you should probably stop listening to Kent Hovind because he's not a good source of information. And I would 100% agree. Well that's good then but I do feel like we agree for different reasons. Because it's not strata layers from floods this is creature and they don't understand what they're labeling. Geology has no clue. You know geologists don't just look at something in order to come to conclusions. They don't go, hmm, this looks like it's a sedimentary deposit that was formed by floods. No, that's not what they do. That is what you do. You're the one that looks at something and decides what it must be based on that. Geologists do things like radiometric dating. They will also analyze samples to work out what the composition of it is. Meanwhile, you do none of that. You just look at it. I'd say that because the geologist does more than just look at it, they would know more about what they're talking about than you. And doesn't even want a clue. They want a godless world. You do realize there are religious geologists, right? I'm pretty sure they don't want a godless world. Just because science disagrees with your fundamentalist view on religion, it doesn't make the science wrong. Maybe try updating your religious beliefs because your religious beliefs are just wrong. You can still be religious and agree with the science. I know that's a shocking idea to some people, but it is possible. Oh, you'll get one all right. Don't worry, it's coming for you. You're gonna have that godless eternity you wanted. He's gonna give you exactly what you wanted, that godless eternity. You're gonna get it, Mr. Geologist. You know, a godless eternity doesn't actually sound too bad. Imagine having to pray to a god all the time. That kind of sounds boring. In fact, when you think about it, a godless eternity does imply that God wouldn't be there to punish you. So if God is real, and hell is a place without God, and people like me will be going to hell, then I feel like we could work something out, you know? Maybe build some nice things down there. Some of the smartest minds will be there, and it's not a stretch to think that they'll come together to try and make it a better place. Meanwhile, you'll be up in heaven trying to convince God that clouds are just the remains of giant dragons. But hey, at least then you might get to work with Roger from Cloud Fossil University. Now look at these. I'm not sure if these are... It looks like it's just oxidized. Well, oxidization is a process that rocks can undergo. And these are able to do it because they're rocks. 
I think that's all that is, but this is layers of this creature. And this is not cross bedding from sand. I seriously want to know how you think a creature of that size would actually able to be fossilized like that. Sedimentary deposit, sedimentary deposit, to sedimentary deposit, and oh my gosh, what's this? Then oh, what's that? That's not even the same, not even close. Neither is none of that. So, depending on what minerals are deposited there, will change what types of rocks you get, because different types of rocks are made out of different types of minerals. All this information can be found by simply googling it. Although, let me guess, you don't trust Google. Oh, hold, hold, here's a little bitty sedimentary deposit. A little one. And then a huge chunk. And this huge chunk. He's literally just deciding that things are sedimentary deposits based on how they look. There is a reason you're not a geologist, my dude. Sedimentary deposits don't all have to look the same. In fact, they could look different depending on what type of minerals were deposited there. Bull, bull, bull. There's something about this though, because every one of these blocks have this thing in them. I'm noticing. Or most of them that I can tell, you see this thing? They have that. Wait, what? You're telling me that shapes can be on rocks? No way! But in all seriousness, I don't think those ovals actually mean anything. I think you've just found ovals on rocks. Because those ovals are different shapes, they're different colours, they have different positions on the rock. It's almost like you're just seeing oval shapes and going, oh yes, they must all be the same thing. The human brain can be really good at identifying patterns that aren't actually there. I don't want to get up and over that on the other side. I've never been there. That's why I'm down here today too. He seems to be really fascinated with finding more rocks, doesn't he? Maybe he thinks that on the other side of the hill, he'll find Godzilla's sister. Oh, here, there. See this? Something's going on. That uses for servicing, for blood. I, something's going on. See these? Those are deteriorated off. But... I mean, you literally skipped over one that didn't have an oval there. Are we just going to ignore the ones that don't have the thing that you're saying that they all have? Of course I'm inclined to say yes because to the ones that didn't have it, you said, oh, they've just deteriorated off. Huh. There's something up with that. Got them in that up there, that layer too. <laughs> of course, the camera lingers on one that doesn't actually have an oval on it. Although he probably thinks that that's just the huge chunk that's taken out of the side. Still, it's a little bit weird that he didn't say anything and just walked away. Here's more of that they would call cross bedding. And they'd be wrong. Well, if it's not cross bedding, then what's going on here? You need to provide an alternate explanation, otherwise I'm just gonna say that it's cross bedding. Pretty much everything I'm bringing you from the tendon fibrils, which they would call uh, basalt tubes or basalt calmer tubes or whatever, that is not what those are, they're tendon fibrils. He's just saying stuff like he's right. Like his whole argument is that he disagrees with the geologists. Well, let me know when you start doing experimentalizations on the rocks to find out what they are. Then you might have a little more credibility. Anyway, that was Mudman Research and just whatever it is he's doing. But anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you liked that video and be sure to leave a comment letting me know if you've ever found any of Godzilla's family members. Join us tomorrow where we will be addressing a flat earther that has a very weird name to me. I will see you there. Between you and me, thank you for watching.